Redditors, what did you believe about the other sex that turned out to be false? My only experience with men's genitals up until the age of 18 was from carvings on the school desks. So, I imagined the balls sat directly above the shaft and were as tight and round as two separate ping pong balls. How far back the hole was, I was always confused why some people went into the wrong hole. Now it makes sense. Not only that but the two holes are very very close. Too close. I used to think the vag looked exactly like a mouth. I had heard that there were lips down there, so naturally that's what I pictured. For a while I thought women had two or three vags. The reason why I thought this was because I saw P at a very young age. There was a woman that was getting DP. I instantly thought that this woman had two vags. All of a sudden, a third guy shows up and also gets in on the action. Now that I know better, what I saw was two dongs going into one vag and one dong going into the anus. I truly, genuinely thought that men had two dongs. One they peed out of and one they pooped out of. Apparently my childlike mind didn't register a reason for men to have buttholes. The penis and the punis. That women had a third nipple where their vag is. You have a vivid imagination. I legit didn't know you leave tampons in. I thought it was more immediate insert. Soak up whatever, pull out, and throw away. I kind of wish that worked. I used to think that women could produce milk from their breasts all the time, not just during pregnancy, so I was always shocked and slightly baffled as to why I'd see women go to the shops to buy milk. I used to think, why don't they just whip it out and squeeze some milk out onto their cereal it was mainly an economic thing playing in my mind. Why spend a pound or so on a pint of milk when you have a perfectly decent supply of your own which is available for free, and then at uni some women sat me down and explained the female anatomy to me. I love that it took you till uni to learn this. I was in my mid 20s before I learned that not only do women enjoy intercourse, they actively want it and make decisions based on their desire to have it. Television had convinced me that girls only have intercourse as a means to make their man happy. My mind was blown when I realized that wasn't true. I used to think that guys don't gossip, yeah they do, a lot, for that matter. I used to think this and that it would fade with age. My dad is in his 50s and works with all males for an airline as a mechanic. I have never heard of a workplace having so much drama and I work in a salon. Didn't think CM dripped out of a vag most of the time. Thought it all kinda just stayed in there. The reason men had balls is that they use them for boxing. As in they would box their own balls to get practice. No idea where I got this idea from. I was in year 2 and insanely jealous that I couldn't just bend over to do a little of my own boxing. Crawls into fetal position. I thought they had 3 identical butthole-esque holes in their butt one for pooping, one for having babes, and one for peeing. I also thought dongs had pores from which sperm would come out of on the sides because the other hole is used for peeing. I'm confused about which genitals you have, since it seems like you didn't know how either set works. When I was probably 11, I accidentally stumbled across a website with an album of women with huge erect members, and the website referred to them as dongs. So, for a few years I thought men had members, small ones like the one I had, and women had dongs, huge monstrous phallus looking things. I thought women could breathe fire, thanks dad. We can. I'd always been told that men were naturally selfish in bed, not because they're jerks. But because that's just how they are and they have to overcome it. Every guy I've been with has been remarkably selfless. Genuinely enjoyed getting me off. And actually gotten a bit uncomfortable if I focused on them too long without them reciprocating. I know that doesn't mean all guys are like that. But it's a remarkable shift from all my assumptions. Also, I'd always heard narratives where men tended to come too fast and had to work hard not to. Every guy I've been with has had the exact opposite problem and feels bad that they're taking so long. Bizarre. That women are cleaner than men. I believe that boys were born with balls inside their body until puberty and they dropped. It was a shock. Well the first time I took a girl's pants off I wondered why she didn't have a boner too. Then I realized that girls don't have dongs. I'd like to say that I knew that ahead of time but clearly I did not. Women don't desire intercourse as much as men do. I've found it's a matter of timing. 
When I was young, it was true my libido was out of control and never found a girl to match. Now that I'm older, my wife has become much more aggressive in the bedroom while I mostly have intercourse to burn calories and for the intimacy not to put out the fire. That women were generally nicer than men. There are plenty of self-absorbed jerks on both sides of the gender aisle. When I was a little kid, I thought pregnancy just happened. Like, you get married, then if you are lucky and God deems you worthy, the woman magically gets pregnant. I assume that's why people called it a miracle and all that. And when a woman gets pregnant out of marriage it is God's accident. I was kind of dumb as a kid. I was kind of on this thought train as a kid. Like 7-8. My mom told me women had babies when they got married so I was like oh no. I'm never getting married then I found out it happened outside of marriage. I flipped my crap like oh no no one is safe. What? That women are similar. Turns out they're totally not. And there's a lot of diversity among women. If you know only that a person is a woman. You know approximately nothing about that individual. I grew up in a family where none of the men ever cry. It wasn't until I started having boyfriends that I realized guys cry quite often. It's a good thing though. We do not cry. We sweat through our eyes. I always thought that there had to be a reason that a guy got a boner. It made sense to me that he had to be actively frisky to have one. Now I know you guys have those things all the dang time and for no reason at all. But that's okay because I like them. Okay this sounds awful, but maybe other people can relate. Growing up as a young girl, I thought that men had better friendships. It was the era of queen bees being a major news story everyone went from thinking women weren't competitive with each other, to a new realization that women do have hierarchies and are competitive. But this quickly spiraled into a general belief that women are meaner than men. A sharp reversal of earlier stereotypes, which seemed to categorize women as nicer more nurturing, and show because I didn't live through it. Movies like Mean Girls and Clueless painted girls as incredibly vain and bitchy. Both portrayed the default female culture in a very negative light. Although the end message was to reject this culture and there's a lot of great stuff to be said about both movies. Every cartoon had a bitchy girl who wore all pink and only talks about her hair stereotype. But more than that, I thought men were just better than us. More fun. Cooler. Funnier. I thought to be cool, and basically be a worthwhile human, I should be friends with men, and in order to prove that I wasn't that type of girl, I had to be one of the guys. Although I knew that girls who said that wanted to be one of the guys were really that type of girl in disguise. This isn't something I was really consciously aware that I believed, at least. I never put it into so many words but it was a belief I held nonetheless. This turned out not to be true at all. I have both male and female friends now, and there is virtually no difference. Female friendships are great supportive, warm, funny, interesting, and only rarely bitchy. Male friendships aren't perfect there's still pettiness, meanness, gossip. While there are still cultural differences in the way men and women are taught to act towards one another and the opposite gender, these don't seem to really change the essential nature of friendship. That women are delicate flowers. With painful thorns. All guys like lesbian stuff, or girls with lesbian tendencies. That they would like me equals. I thought for a while that girls weren't interested in sx. Turns out they just weren't interested in sx with me. Till I was 17, I believed dongs were constantly slimy. Like, that's just how they were. I think it was probably because vags are a moist area. I know, weird one. My friends and I still laugh about it. I thought the balls hung over the dong like saddlebags, one on each side, and that as you walk they lightly smack together like Newton's cradle. Men don't see em every time during sx and not all men like blowjobs. Both of those are things I never believed men were capable of in the past. That they hate cheesy pickup lines and such. I thought they were all frisky all the time and wouldn't resist bjs. I thought wrong. I thought women peed through their butts. I used to believe women didn't poo until my first girlfriend took a dump on my chest. That women give birth through their ass. I didn't learn the facts till I was 13. My mom told me that babies always come out of a woman's belly button. I didn't learn the truth until I was about 13. I didn't think women had Euro 3-2 until I was 15. 
I thought boys couldn't cry. I mean physically incapable of excess hair production. Not just too macho to cry. I'd never seen my dad cry, never seen a boy cry, nothing. I just figured they couldn't. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I finally looked over and saw my daddy crying that I realized wait, that's freaking stupid. Of course males can cry. They have tear ducts, don't they? I also used to think that boys in general were sadistic buttholes until they reached a certain age. But when it dawned on me I was basing that off of three boys living in a mostly feral living environment with a neglectful mother and a bratty kid with ADHD that was always yelled at. I realized that boys only act like savage beasts when they're raised like savage beasts. But when they're raised like people, they can be upstanding members of society. I had a lot of misconceptions about boys growing up and I feel bad looking back that I did. It was stupid and sexist and I can't believe I ever thought those things in earnest. You've been visited by the toothpaste man for good teeth and fresh breath comment oh fresh. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check out another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.